Okie dokie now. I'm going to show you how to make a custom light. And all I'm using is this little three gas fittings, black pipe. This is a floor flange with four screw holes, a straight pipe threaded. Uh, this is a one foot threaded. And this is a 90. And all I've done is take them straight out of the packaging at Lowe's and screw them together. Nothing crazy. And come in close and I'll show you the rest. editing and watching the video I was a little bit confused myself even though I did it so I'm gonna draw this out in person with you I'm gonna draw a little map of the wire diagram so that you understand the wiring and then you know then you can see the actual light up here behind us so coming close so here here's a panel box and the panel box has a hot wire it's hot. Wires coming out of it are always hot unless the breaker switches off or the main panel breaker switches off. So always when messing with electricity, turn off the electricity first. Shut off the main panel, panel, panel breaker if you're confused or don't know which breaker it is. Just shut off the main. If you know which one it is, go ahead and shut that actual switch off. But anyway, there's going to be a wire running out of the panel box. And I have videos on how to hook up breaker switches and how to run wires out of a panel box inside my electrical playlist. Also, how to splice a wire in detail inside my electrical playlist if you want to check that out. But there's a wire running in the attic in this case. And all I've done is I've cut the wire. I've cut it right here. And there's that's a wire splice. So I've spliced the wire, which you'll see in this video. That's how I'm going to get a third wire, a short wire that I'm cutting in my shop. I'm gonna measure it to length and cut a short wire and splice it into this hot wire because this one's hot and I need to run a hot wire out of it. Well, here's now my hot wire. We've made the splice right here and we're running another wire out of it into the fixture. This is the pipe fixture and the wire runs through it down the 90. Also, this is the 90 in my pipe fixture right here and it runs down and out and connects to the little apparatus that I'm gonna show you in this video. So that's all this is. From the panel box, hot wire, I've cut the hot wire, added another wire into that hot wire, spliced them all together, made it safer, and then ran it through my pipe fixtures to my little apparatus. So let's go check it out, what this looks like in real life. This is a false wall video that I'm working on, but anyway, this is for the electrical part. All I've done, and here's the wire that I'm gonna connect onto right here. And typically that'd be up in your attic, but you can see it's not, it's running right here. And there was a drop down ceiling. That's why all these wires were hanging out. So that's why I'm building this false wall, but this is a great example. So you can see exactly what I'm doing. This is where I'm going to cut the wire right there and make sure you shut the power off before you start cutting. But I'm going to snip this right here and I have a little stretch of wire, just a little stretch that I've used this box blade knife to uh, cut back the yellow jacketing. And then I've used these wire cutters right here to get those ready to connect. And I've done that on both ends and made this long enough to go out of my little fitting that I made and long enough to go up to this where I'm cutting this. And I also have a video on how to splice a wire if you're curious on that. But I'm gonna splice into this and then run it out through here and all I'm using is this little gadget that I got at the store. It's pretty cheap, like I said. Um, all this stuff was only like 30 bucks, $37, I think. So none of it was that much. And I'm taking this little piece and I'll show you up close how to, uh, I'm not there yet. And so let me shut the power off and snip this and uh, screw this in. You can see this has four screw holes right here. And you know, you can see all those screw holes. I'm going to screw those into that two by four up there and get all your wires ready, screw that in, get it all secured and I'll, I'll come back to you. Okay. So the power is still on. I've not shut off the power yet. I've got it wrapped around here, but I do have this secured and the wire is running through. I've pulled it through and fished it through to here. 
and all I've done is this little piece slides up over those wires. That ground I've just got wired around those other two. Um, but black goes to brass and white goes to silver. Okay, and that's a little loose. That loop is a little bit loose. This one looks better. But you can see that screw goes on righty tighty and you see how I hooked that? That way it tightens that screw. When the screw tightens, it tightens this uh, wire around onto it too when you're turning it. Anyway, so now that this is, this is gonna sit right up here inside that 90 just like that. And this piece, see how it has this little pole chain right here? It slides up inside this piece. So like that, this will slide up into it. Anyway, I can't do it with one hand, but I'll slide this up into there. And then I'm actually gonna wrap it with this tape uh, right around those two. I'm gonna put a piece of tape over it because it's gonna be pretty tied up against that plastic. So I'm gonna do that. And a light bulb just goes inside right there. Uh, this piece right here, it slides up over this once I've got all this together. It just goes in and screws over that and you'll see. So stay close. I'm gonna wrap this. Here it is now. And remember, this would be like the wire running up in the attic from one place to another. And if you follow those, they just go straight down. And there's a plug right here. And that wire goes straight down. And there's a plug right over there. So that's all that is. Cut the wire and you can see right here, power's off when you're doing this, but all it is, but all this is is the three blacks twisted together, the three whites twisted together, and the coppers twisted together. But this would be just like putting it inside a junction box, except for this is not inside a junction box. So you're gonna have to make it a little bit more safe than this. You don't have to, but I would suggest doing that. I have a whole video on how to splice a wire. If you're curious on that, check it out in my electrical playlist. Anyway, um, this little pole chain, it was really short and I bought another one at the store to connect it on, a 36 inch one. It goes over here and I drilled a little hole so that it's up out of the way. And it goes down where when you're at the sink, you can pull it when you're standing down there at the sink, but this isn't now in the way looking strange. So there you go. There's the light, the light's on. I have to secure it and silicone it and whatnot. But this is just the electrical part. I'm about to do the sheetrock. I'm about to hang the sheetrock right now and I'll, sh I'll take you right back to show you this final result. Just a little girl and her pull chain light. There's the false wall. There's a video on that. There's the light. Um, the pole chain looks nice coming out over the side over here. It looks good. It's very functional. This is not wobbly anymore. And all I did was actually at the back of that, um, the wire that came through there, I pulled it down to that two by four and just put a staple in it so that it was pretty tight. And that um, kept that from being able to move around. And so I didn't even have to silicone that. And in the future, if I ever have to replace anything, that'll all come apart real easy since there's no silicone. One little staple. This is the final result. This is what it looks like. If it was helpful in any way, go ahead and like it. Subscribe to my channel if you like home improvement videos. I got enough to get your eyes wet.